Hey guys, it's me back with my SummerSlam review series. Here to review SummerSlam 1995. I just got finished watching the show. Gotta say, a lot of people think this is a horrible SummerSlam. I thought it was an okay show. Okay, being honest there. Mainly because of one match, one certain match that saved it. But, um, I mean, there was a lot of decent matches on the show too. In my opinion, but we'll start off with the opener, with which is one two three kid versus Akushi. This was a very fun opener. Um, a lot of uh, high f high flying stuff moves from one two three kid, and um, the fight went all over the place. Well, not all over the place, but like inside the ring and at ringside, you know. And Akushi actually got the win. Well, which the crowd didn't like too much, but it was it was a good match for what it was. I liked it. Next match we got Bob Holly versus Hunter Hearst Helmsley, aka Triple H. So this was Triple H's first SummerSlam, which was good. This was a this was a good this was fine. It was fine. I mean pretty much nothing above T V quality. But um um Obviously, this isn't really a match you'd expect to be like a five-star technical classic anyway or anything, you know, but, um, uh, Hunter Assembly got the win, um, the match was pretty short, but it was fine for what it was. Next match is a tag match, Smoking Guns versus the Blue Brothers, um, another fine match, pretty much, uh, on the same level as the previous match, I liked it, um, the crowd, well, not, uh, well, actually, the match, the match got slowly better as it got, as it went along, and of course, Smoking Guns got the win, which is which was good. Okay. Next match we got uh, another fun match: Barry Horowitz versus Skip with Sunny at ringside. This was a decent match. It wasn't. I don't think it was anything spectacular or anything, but um, the crowd was so over. Barry Horowitz, and they were just booing Skip, and um, Sonny tried to interfere a few times to uh, to get Skip over, but she failed. And um, whenever Barry Horowitz got the uh, got the advantage, he got the advantage. So um, of course Barry got the win, which was good. Next match we have WWE Women's Championship match. Alundra Blaze defending against Bertha Faye. This match was uh, pretty much a squash match. Bertha Faye was like smashing up Alundra Blaze for most of the match, and she actually won the title. So, congrats to her. Rest in peace. So, it was nothing. Move on. Next, we have Casket Match The Undertaker versus Kama. Kama. Uh, this match was, um, I, I don't like it for like the first 10 minutes, but um, the match, uh, it got really good near the end with uh, KDBSC trying to interfere, and there were several attempts to get e for these wrestlers to get each other in the casket. Um, of course Undertaker won. Um, there were times, I thought this match uh, should have been shorter, but but it was a it was not bad. Definitely not a bad match by any means. Um it was good. Uh next match we have um Brent Hart versus Isaac Yankum, DDS, aka Kane. So this was Kane's first um SummerSlam two, as well as Triple H's. But um this was a fine match. Um it was actually definitely way better than I thought it'd be. I mean the um, there was some brawling outside the ring, I mean, but it got in the ring, and uh, mainly because of interferences by Jerry the King Lawler, Isaac Yankin got the advantage a few times, but um, at the end, Bret Hart got the win by DQ, because Isaac and Jerry Lawler decided to team up and beat him up while he was stuck in the ropes, so... That was it was it was a good match, a really good match, actually. Uh, definitely better than we all thought it'd be. And this is and the next match. This next match, guys, 
the match that everyone wanted to see this pay per view. No one really gave a crap about this show except for this one match. Shawn Michaels defending the Intercontinental Championship against Razor Ramon in a ladder rematch from WrestleMania 10. What do I got to say about this match? It was freaking awesome. It was awesome. This match was awesome. There was some, I mean, some of the ladder spots were um, a bit casual, you know, like they, would, like they would just like pick it up and just swing it and stuff, but they actually brought two, two, um, two uh, ladders into this one. Um, and most of the action was kept inside the ring. I say I'd say this match was more fun to watch than the WrestleMania 10 one. However, the WrestleMania 10 match is better than this one because it was more innovative, in my opinion. But um, overall, just an awesome match. Um, Sean took a ton of punishment, and so did Razor. But um, this match is nearly perfect. The finish was kind of messed up. It looked like um, and Shawn Michaels got crazy. It seemed like like it, was, it he really did mess up. Like he was actually supposed to win. I mean, but then uh, he ended up falling off and the ladder fell off and he ended up going crazy and smashing everything over the place. And uh, but yeah, he did win the match, Shawn Michaels, which was a great moment. The crowd was so hot for this match. This was an awesome match. And after the match, Razor Ramon. Um, it looked like he was going to attack Shawn Michaels, but no, he was actually congratulating Shawn Michaels with for the win, and um, showing respect. Match of the night by far, easily, possibly match of the year, but uh, for ninety five, but, but yeah, must see match. Um, so that's that. Next we have for some reason this was the main event and not the ladder match. Diesel defends the WWF Championship against King Mabel. Yes, you heard that right. Mabel main, to, main evented SummerSlam, the second biggest show of the year, over the Shawn Michaels Razor Ramon ladder rematch. Let that sink in. Uh, anyway, this match, it was funny. There were a few botches, and the match was like only like three minutes, and. Diesel retained the title. I mean, Lex Luger came in to beat up uh, Mabel's manager, but overall, uh, uh, this match, um, I was okay with it. Overall, a, a decent show. And uh, watch that ladder rematch. Watch Shawn Michaels Razor Moan 2. Watch it. It's on the show. Peace out.